Welcome back to another Tip and Trick Tuesday. That's when it's a Tuesday and I do a tip and a trick. Today's, more specifically, is gonna be something I actually think is kind of fun. Um, it's a way to create custom voice commands for Google Home and any of your Echo devices. Voice assistants are actually super helpful. Um, you can have them tell you the weather in the morning, they can set timers while you cook, you can put them into infinite loops for your own enjoyment, tons of things. But if you really think about it, they have a very limited set of commands. Now, short of developing an app that uses these voice assistant APIs, which I don't recommend you do, unless you're, you know, if you really want to, knock yourself out, it's gonna be hard. But uh, short of that, there's not really that easy of a way to make the Google Assistant or the Alexa do the things that you want just by telling them. Except that if this then that exists. IFTTT, if this then that, is a popular program that allows you to create triggers and actions with an easy to use UI for popular services and platforms. And in this case, they have both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant triggers ready to go and it's just really easy. For either device, first download the If This Then app from your app store, either iOS or Android, doesn't matter, and create an account, it's free. Once in the app, we're gonna tap on search. Then you can either type in Alexa or Google Assistant, depending on which one you wanna set up, and tap one, and it'll show you a bunch of applets. Now, the applets are basically triggers and actions already packaged together for you to just use and install. Think of them like basically apps that can control things, right? With one trigger and one action. You can also, though, create your own applet from scratch. So, tap on the applet icon at the bottom right, tap the plus icon at the top right, so choose Alexa or Google Assistant if you want them to be the trigger, i.e. you say a custom phrase to them and then they trigger an action. Or, you can use other triggers in If This Then That to then make the Google Home or Echo do an action instead. But this is a bit of a rabbit hole for this video, so I'm just gonna focus on creating custom voice commands to trigger the Google Home and the Alexa to then do other things. If you want though, go ahead and explore, check out all the applets that are already made um, that work both directions, um, and you'll be sure to lose a weekend, but knock yourself out. Now once you have whatever the phrase is that you want, uh, in all lowercase, by the way, you can select the that part of the applet and then search for the device service that you want to use. For this example, I'll have Alexa turn my lights a different color. So I searched for Philips Hue, which is the smart bulbs that I have. Yes, I know that you can make Alexa do this anyway, but you'll see. For any services you haven't set up though, you'll have to connect them by logging into those accounts for each one. So your Philips Hue account, you have to log into, your Nest account, et cetera, et cetera, just so that it can access all of their functions. So I selected to change my bedroom red. It grabs the room names and bulbs automatically after you connect the account, by the way. Then I select finish and it'll show it as an active applet. You can turn these off and on. You can edit them and delete them from the My Applet section at the bottom right whenever you need to in the future, by the way. Alexa, trigger sexy time. Sending that to it. And you can just kind of repeat this for any of the other actions that you want and any other phrases that you want to make, etc. Uh, now, of course, if this and that is, like I said, a bit of a rabbit hole, like you can make it do a ton of other things. Like when you get home with your Android phone, make it turn on the lights and do this and play music and like rabbit hole. Uh, go ahead and enjoy that. For this video in particular, again, I'm just focusing on like creating custom phrases because I think it opens up just a lot more commands that you can give to these voice assistants uh, and you can make any number of these things do any number of things. So I'd be interested to see what you guys end up having it do. Uh, let me know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, otherwise, if you like this video, please also let me know about that in the comments below. Again, would like to hear about it. Uh, and then also this series of tips and tricks every Tuesday, how you feel about that, and suggestions for other tips and tricks. I wanna hear a lot from you guys, sorry. Um, but hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please thumbs up it or share it. Also subscribe to the channel. All of that is greatly appreciated. Uh, and as always, regardless, thanks for watching.